hello everybody in today's video i'm going to be sharing my day with you as a stay-at-home mom so to begin with most of the days or maybe about three days in a week i start my day by working out and today i was joined by my nephew <laughs> he says he wants to have six packs so that's what he's working on Working out for me is very important because it's the only way I remain active. As most of you know, I'm a stay-at-home mom and I generally dislike going out like for walks. I don't know why. I just I just don't like it. I can go like even for three days or five days without stepping outside my house. So working out really helps me to remain active. Um, and also... I feel so good after working out. Of course, it has to do with the um, the hormones, the feel-good hormones, the endorphins <laughs> that are released after working out. So I really feel good. Um, and most of the time, since I do it early in the morning, this is before the babies wake, wake up. So it's something that I get to do most of the time alone without the kids distracting me and i love it um and right now i don't have any specific goals for my workouts i just work out to remain healthy and active because for once right now um my body is at a weight that i'm really proud of i feel good i'm currently weighing 54 and i would want it to remain at that <laughs> so i don't want to lose weight i just want to be healthy for breakfast i'm taking ovaltine of course i'm still on this but if you're breastfeeding this is the um this is the drink to take it really does help with milk production if you can't get marmalade at least get yourself this one it's going to help you with the milk flow so that's what i'm taking and i'm going to peel some uh gouache from this one i boiled yesterday they're from the fridge but i'm just going to warm it up and take it before the baby wakes up my four-year-old takes porridge for breakfast uh, this is a mixture of avocado and banana for my seven month almost seven month <laughs> so this is this is breakfast he loves bananas and avocados so much so this is such a hit i also went for shopping uh and this is what i got so this is like a small shopping haul um to begin with uh this mandazi flower i actually didn't know i had another one so <laughs> we have two but we do mandazis a lot in this house and if if you want to cook mandazi without stress this is the the flower for you you add nothing see it's ready uh it's already mixed the and it even has sugar so the only thing that you have to add is water so in case you don't know how to cook mandazi try with this flour try with this flour it's so easy so we have two of those um and then um i i bought some maize flour so i bought this two of them this shopping will probably last me two weeks most likely um when i come here i bought one kg of yellow beans um this is just for the meanwhile because i'm waiting for uh beans from a friend of mine who farms so i'll take like five kgs but since i don't have any beans i just bought a kg uh to help shikilia <laughs> salt um and then we have lentils uh we do lentils a lot uh but these things are so expensive right now i think this kg was going for i think i don't know 360 or 300 and something so i just got two kgs this ones we're going to be cooking them today uh the two kgs so that we can store uh, as ready food ready stew so we have that i uh, got sugar a kg of sugar um and then i got coconut oil for babies food uh i'll be doing coconut oil although uh i, I really don't like coconut 100 percent because it has a bit of saturated fat um i'm hoping to get him olive oil soon but for now we'll just do coconut oil 
Um, and then, okay, let me move. <laughs> Mm, so next we have this cooking oil. I've bought three liters. Um, I wanted to get five, but it was out of stock. So I got three. This one will probably, I have, I have another liter. So I think this one will last me for a month. Um, probably. <laughs> then we have rice. Uh, I have been unable to <laughs> divorce this rice. I think this is the best rice that there is. It's quite pricey, but I don't know, guys. It's just a necessity. I've tried so many different types of rice, but so this is one thing that I'm like, you know what? I don't care the price. So we have that. We have five kg. So this one is going to last us for the rest of the month for sure you better you better <laughs> and then i bought um a baby soap this is the one that i use for the kiddos i got a clean flame a hand wash of course this one will last us for a month because we still have another one so hand wash uh v multi-purpose cleaner so that one also you go for a month we have geisha soap i love this soap because it's long lasting it's long lasting so yeah <laughs> finally i got toss and i also love this toss because by the way you guys in case you didn't know let me show you let me show you let me show you quickly in case you didn't know this this toss comes with a soap usually they buy this so that it can complement this soap so that they can last me a month let me see I can feel it and I don't know why they don't sell this soap like on its own because it's usually oh, it's usually a very nice soap you see it usually smells so nice see so Next time you want a free soap, get yourself some toss. So these two soaps will last us for a month. And that's my shopping haul. So there's some towel stuffs that are going to last a month. And that are going to last two weeks. Uh, but yeah, that's the shopping that I got for today. It was around 6000 6, Yeah, it was around 6000 just that can you imagine two years ago six thousand would have filled this whole kitchen i mean my god things are expensive but we thank god um here yeah, i'm preparing supper so for supper we are taking um bananas potatoes and meat stew um i may add a little rice for somebody who I feel like they want rice uh, or to take it as a stew. I'm also going to be batch cooking my kamande. Uh, I just realized it's easier for me to cook the whole kg instead of just pre-boiling and packaging, then cooking each time. So um, the, the last time I did batch cooking, it really served me so well. And that food we cooked back in April and we've just finished it and in july so you can imagine it has served us so well all i was doing was to warm the food um and what i usually do i get oxtail i oxtail is mkia mkia yangombe <laughs> so i make soup with it and then i store that soup so whenever i'm warming up the food whether that is kamande or green grams dengu or beans or whatever food i'm warming that day i use the soup to warm and it's usually so flavorful it's usually so sweet so right here i'm just going to cook the kamande all of it uh i don't uh it didn't fit in this sufuria by the way uh ilibaki kamande I'll, just a little like one packet like one ziploc bag <laughs> so but at least we got a lot of food that is ready to be used anytime so it's so much easier and i've realized it really does save on like gas cooking oil 
everything labor for sure once you start batch cooking there is no looking back so personally i don't do it like one day i i do all the foods no it's so overwhelming for me i actually don't even have enough big sufureas to do that uh, but whenever i'm cooking a specific meal like today we are doing kamande i'll cook all of it maybe the next time i'll be doing uh dengu I'll do all of it um, and for the spices that I use they're very minimal because this is like a family meal I just do turmeric and paprika um, garlic and ginger of course those are like basic for me they, they are like onion I can't cook without garlic and ginger and I added like a cube to just spice up things a little bit um, and that's it that's it so in case you've never tried batch cooking able to try if you have a freezer try even if it's just one meal and when you're warming use soup don't use water use soup it's so sweet and it, it just saves you so much time so here i was just cooking my mandizi what i did with the bananas i first uh pre-boiled them and then peeled them it's so much easier peeling them but now i realized they turned black i don't know why they turned black like they didn't have an appealing color so um it's easier but i don't know why they turned black i don't know whether it's because of i don't know if it's because of that specific type of banana or i just don't get it um i also have added uh, some meat that i had in the freezer uh, so that that meal can be like complete carbohydrates and you know i mean it can be balanced you know what i mean ah so also for my kamande i do not uh pre-boil it i just soak it and you can see that was one kg ilifura ikajapo <laughs> so i prefer just kamande really cooks very very fast so for me i don't see any need to boil it fast or even if i do i do for like three minutes because i don't want it to like overcook and become like porridge <laughs> so this time i didn't boil it and it came out perfect it came out really perfect so that's also something that you can do in case you don't you don't want to pre-boil your commander just soak it by the way by soaking it it's already become soft so cooking time is just the same um i finished cooking i finished actually that's how the food is looking um commander Oof, still too hot. I need to uh, funua this because I don't think we'll be taking that. And I did a little bit of rice. So we have a choice. If you want rice and kamande, or if you want uh, this one, whatever you want. That's how my day has been. So right now I've just come from feeding the baby. Oh, the baby has taken um, bananas. Mm, potatoes and minji and carrots he really loves that meal so um and again it's good it's balanced so okay i'm tired oh my god it's nine i need to go feed asha eat take a shower oh and just wait for my hubby to come from work because i miss him and i just want to do that and then go to sleep <laughs> thank you for watching please subscribe in case you haven't already and let me see you in my next one bye